Welcome back. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to Olivia. Do you know what I Yes, no one. <laughs> welcome back. It's uh, been a minute. Yes. We were on hiati- hiatus. <laughs> we took a month off. You know, you didn't miss out on much, I don't think, anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't, think you're, I don't think you're looking for us to, like, fill your days, I hope, because sorry if that's the case. We will post more. You need to comment that then, and then we will know, and we won't take such long breaks, but nobody's out here commenting that, so. So I'm taking my month break. Yeah. First episode back in the game. Yes. It's fucking spooky season. If you're watching, you can see our spooky garland. Also, it's a, if you've been watching, it's a different setup. Um, yeah. We're trying to figure shit out right now. You know, we're trying to have a more permanent space besides, like, I don't know, me and where we've been fucking filming at my house or at your house in very random locations, I gotta say. It's just hard to keep things consistent, you know, like, audio-wise or, like, whatever. So we're just trying to make, like, maybe a room in my house a permanent location. This is definitely not the permanent setup. Uh, We threw this this together. (laughs) In like 20 minutes. So I hope it is serving some aesthetic. It's giving very um, old YouTube vibes with a candle and everything. So paying an homage to our sisters who did it first. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) Anyway, it's spooky season. We have some shit to talk about. Always. (laughs) I mean, yeah. We shut up ever. No, never. But we have some shit to talk about. About... About, 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 about. Like, Side about. note, we're drinking something special for the main part, the main segment of our show today, even though we normally do that for Glowing Hour. Um, it's Kin Spritz. It's the um, Rising Flow, because they have a nighttime and then they have a daytime. This one contains caffeine. Um, we've drank these before. I yeah. think we both enjoy these. Mm-hmm. They're expensive. I will let you know up front. <laughs> um, but I might just hit up my friend Bella Hadid <gasps> for the hookup. Hey, Bella. Hey, Bella. I know we've been friends for a really long time. I know you've been watching this for a while or whatever. I appreciate so your like, support. It's so humble. <laughs> this is sponsored by... I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fucking wish. Anyway. I would love to love have Ken. a fridge in the office. We love Ken. Let's do it. It is spooky season, so let's just get fucking into it. Like, two weeks ago, I was listening to a podcast. I'm trying to remember the name. Murder with My Husband? Murder with My Husband. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's the podcast. They did a story on trick-or-treating and the myth about, like, there being razor blades in your candy. Which has, like, been a fear for everybody Mm -hmm. since the fucking beginning of time. It's terrifying. Um, but, you know... I'm not trying to, like, give them, get, get rid of a listen for them, but I'm going to sum it up for you, because <laughs> it was a long episode. It was really good, but in sum, it's definitely a myth, because any reported cases of there being, like, drugs or razor blades or something in someone's candy, it was by someone they know that did it. As it always is, though, I feel like that's yeah. the key um, component, component? I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's the key... It's the like common the, denominator? The common denominator. Okay. Denominator. <laughs> Listen. Listen. It's the common denominator in, like, kidnappings. And, like, shit that just happens to children in, or, like, sexual, this is going too far, but, like, <laughs> everything Damn. that's bad that happens to children, it's almost always somebody that they know. You know what I mean? In a lot of cases, yeah. In some cases, you it's, know, it's... So completely a stranger. But, the, just but nuts. the yes, but no, but like almost all of the percentage, yeah. it like mol- molestation, fucking everything that happens to children, it's usually somebody that they. You know. just mean like overall crimes that happen to children in most, like I'm, a majority, right? Like which just, just, I'm just means, saying the ratio, like yeah. or like the statistic, it's always somebody that they know. Yeah, it's just more than fifty percent. I don't think it's whatever. really ever like a random attack. It's very very few that ha- are random attacks. So watch the fucking Damn. people you put yourself around. But yeah, kids. let me just give you a little short little moment story that they said. It was like, one of the stories was a dad actually 
poisoned his kids and pretended like it was someone they went trick-or-treating from. Um, he put, I forget what, but he put in, in a pixie stick to both his kids, his son and daughter. His son ate it that night. He put enough of whatever the fuck it was to kill, like, five human men. Men. Five men. Is it, like, rat poison or something weird? Yeah, like, like, chlorine or, like, some sort of, you know, like, something that was, like, you should not have access to that. So, not chlorine, but, like, Mm. some sort of chemical situation. That, like, decomposes your body shit. inside. Yeah. And it's because he wanted money. He wanted the, the son's life insurance. Can you believe it? Ugh. Fucking ridiculous. One that kind of did scare me, though, was, like, people who think they're, like, pulling a prank, and they put, like, a razor blade in candy, and then you bite into it, and you have a razor blade in your mouth? What kind of friend is that? Ow! Why Sorry, is that... Why is that a prank? That's like it's, not a who's hot, laughing? Hot, who's la- Literally, my tongue's cut off. I can't even laugh. Um, That's that is a sick fucking joke. I guess like they took the whole trick or treat a little too far, like a little too tricky. Um, yeah, me. that's not fucking cool. Yeah, but like moral of the story, it was like, yes, I think you should still check your kids like candy, candy overall. To further the thought of like scary shit happening to your kids and people that you know. Um, or don't know. Spooky. Uh, I think about how, like, for example, when you go to, like, a theme park during Halloween time, like, everyone's, like, you know, the they're all here for the gag. Like, people practice and, like, they're given masks and, like, they're meant to scare you. But what if somebody takes it a little too far and takes it as an opportunity to hurt someone else? Like, you're in the right environment to, like, snatch someone or some, you know, to to get a little too close to... To the character that you're playing, you know? I would be curious to know what kind of, like, security they have. Like, if someone's yeah. always watching the monster. Or like, background check people or something. But, anyway, that thought scares me a little bit, but I, I don't know why, when I'm in those places, it's not as scary as to me as, like, when you see that, like, a neighbor has put up their own haunted house. Like, <laughs> I don't know you. Just, like, people can really take advantage of hiding behind a mask and hiding behind, like, the mystery of what Halloween brings. And in the same thought, my brain goes to the dark web and how, you know, a lot of these people can be seemingly normal in real life but have really deep and dark desires to do shit and you don't know who they are really at the core. And they could have someone in their fucking basement or... I don't know, be doing really weird shit. And so I'm like, scary thought (laughs) that uh, during Halloween, maybe they can take advantage of all of that and do not okay things to people. Like, it's crazy what people can still get get away with. And I'm not here to give anyone ideas because that's (laughs) not what I'm pushing here. But it's just crazy. Like, today it's a lot harder to get away with certain things. But I swear there's a real life you out there. Yeah. They, multiple of them. I don't know if they are in love with some woman who also kills people, but something like that exists. Something like that exists, for sure. So, keep, keep yourself, yourself protected. <laughs> yeah. As best you can, obviously, like, life will happen. Happen and shit happens, but I don't know. Thought. <laughs> terrifying thoughts of the day. We're just in the spooky mood, so we're scared. We were kids. What were, like, things that you dressed up as? What were things I dressed up as as a kid? Yeah. My favorite was Cinderella. Maybe I that's what we'll it. post on Instagram. We'll post, like, some old Halloween pics. I need to go find some. Well, I dressed up as Cinderella with my cousin who was Sleeping Beauty. So that was Aww. cute. But I stayed brunette. I stayed true. What else? Like, a bunny, probably. A cat, for sure. I was a bat one year. It's always those Leg Avenue costumes, you know? Oh. What have you been? Maybe I've been the same thing. I I was a witch for, like, way too long. Okay, witch. And then I was a devil one year. Oh, um, I was a devil and an angel. I got it. Oh, that half and half. That half yeah, and half everyone one. did that one one year. <laughs> I didn't want to be her, so I was just the devil. And I remember that year I got in trouble for the costume that I wore. What? Just too, like, sexy. How old were you? I was in third grade. It was just a tank top. It was like a crop top tank top for a child. It's like those girls um, that are like Britney Spears for Halloween. Like the little, little girls. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Whatever, it was a devil. Uh, a princess ever? I was never a princess. Not that I didn't want to. Maybe I just... Actually, maybe I didn't. I liked being, like, 
low-key scary things. <laughs> low-key scary um, things. One year, I was like a candy corn witch. I feel like, yeah, that sounds so familiar for some reason. Like, candy corn witches. I hate candy corn, so that's interesting. It was the colors. It was, it was the, the colors. It was the aesthetic. I was like, I'm going for it. I remember, like, yeah. I bought nail polish to do my nails. Like, candy corn, like, colors. Oh, you went all out. Yeah, I went out, out. And then, what else have, have I been... I think I was that for a couple of years because you know my mom never wanted to buy me like, a new costume every year. She's like, look, you looked cute and expensive. It. Yeah, looking back, fifty bucks for a costume they're gonna wear once. Yeah, not okay. And then in high school, I guess you're not really a kid anymore. But I think I still went trick or treating, but I started to make my own costumes, and that's when like I flourished. More deep, de- <laughs> flourished. <laughs> I was like Little Red Riding Hood one year. <gasps> yes. Mm-hmm. My friend was like a werewolf, so it, like just worked out for for us. What's your sluttiest costume? I hope it's not the third grade one. <laughs> third grade knows the devil. I know what mine is. I know what yours is. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> um. Really? I was fucking nerds one year also with like my ex-boyfriend. Like, I think I kind of remember, remember people doing nerds one year. <laughs> Stupid. You wore like a uh, box? Yeah, I like painted a whole like cardboard box for us. That's like, it was a vibe. It's an activity. I was also an alien one year. Oh, with Jen. That was fun. Okay, anyway, my sluttiest costume. Yeah, what's the sluttiest? I think my cowgirl one. You think the it's, cowgirl one? Yeah. Just because My was ass chest? was out, yeah. But you had, uh, like, bottoms. Yeah, Cow maybe, bottoms. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I don't think, like, because, like, the mummy outfit last year wasn't, like, super slutty. No. It was just, like, a dress. Maybe oh, we fuck. just have a new definition of slutty, because I really... Like, nothing. Nothing slutty anymore. It's, like, too slutty. Okay, well, mine for sure was in high school. <laughs> and I wore it to school. <laughs> Girl. And my mom trouble? let me out the door. Did you get in trouble? No. I think I was a senior. No, I was a junior. Because all the senior cheerleaders were like, I love your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking slut. So, I was Mrs. Damn, Claus. <laughs> On Halloween. Yeah, because it was like, I wasn't going to dress up. Like, I literally wasn't. And then my ASB advisor was like, you have to dress up. Like, I don't care. You're, You're like, an oh, ASB. bet. You said bet. I said bet. The, the costume I got, <laughs> my mom got it for a work party a long time ago. I'm going to wear it. No. So, it's mm, a little short skirt. And it's like a tank top vibe. I think there's a cape. I'm pretty sure there's a cape. And then I wore, like, super long, like, stocking. Like, they had, like, from Target. Like, the white fluff and then the red and white stripes all the way down. I don't think I wore heels. I don't think I went that far. You know, and maybe they told me they loved my costume because they were being assholes. Like, they were trying to be like, "Mm, I love your costume. Like, Mean Girls moment, Regina George. Like, (laughs) where'd you get it? You look like such a slut. (laughs) But I was like, thank you. And my mom was like, you look cute. (laughs) She's like, I'm off queen. (laughs) So I wore it. What a time. What a time. Uh, Yeah. I don't think anything else other than that. Thankfully, my sluttiest outfit was not in high school. Mm. Sorry to say. I was thriving. Period. All the bitches were jealous. For some reason, I can't remember the last two years of high school, like, what I was for Halloween. Anyways, back to being a kid. I don't know what else about. It was always, like, nerve-wracking going up to the houses. Like, ooh. It's crazy to think that we went from, like, I mean, maybe I didn't. It was, like, always a slutty outfit. (laughs) Since third grade. According to my teachers. I mean, mine were, like, leg avenue, and those bitches were always pretty short. Yeah, those bitches were short as hell. They said leg avenue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's very, I feel like Halloween today is about getting drunk. Yeah, for us, like, and, our age. And, um, partying, and not really about the candy anymore. Yeah, it's just, my teeth can't take candy like that. I don't hard, think they hard ever Hard alcohol, could. though, all the way. Oh. Tequila, I can do it. Easy. It's so good for my teeth. I just care more about my dental health these days. Oh it's <laughs> I'm That's allergic you. to that thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, it's also, like, it's, like, okay to be, like, in ugly costumes. Like, it's just, like, who has a, like, who wa- who wants to have the best costume? I feel like that still stands. Sometimes, it depends. But, like, a lot of the times, it's, like, all right, who's gonna have the best couples? Who's gonna have a yeah. group one? Or we can do, like, a party where it's a theme, and it's, like, everyone, it's, like, from the office, or yeah. princesses, or fucking whatever. Definitely. I think Halloween is fairly the same, but, like, we're just switching up, like, candy with what we're intaking as far as like costumes do you have any predictions for this year that are gonna pop up um definitely squid game i was gonna say i was thinking not only like 
the contestants, but also like the red the, people. The re- no, the rich people. Like you just go in full suit and like bedazzle a mask. Well, that's an idea. That would be better. For, just gave you something for you men or be the women rich or out be there. the rich. I don't know. I mean, for the costume, be the rich. <laughs> be the rich. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, just go to fucking Michael's. And if you have a suit already, period. Yeah. If you don't, now's the time to invest. (laughs) Halloween. Or go to fucking Goodwill. I don't know. Yeah. Um, another prediction that I have is like I feel like Courtney and And Travis Travis and or Megan Fox and and, and Machine Gun Kelly. That's Those true. gonna be like a vibe. I can see like a group, like two couples being both of them. Bro, you know what I mean? Fucking hard though. Yeah. Like you have to look like them. A little yeah. bit. And I mean, I also feel like because um Megan Fox is now like in the limelight again, I think like Jennifer's body's gonna come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel I don't feel like any other role specifically that she's done can... Transformers, like what yeah, she like, dress she's, like, as... <laughs> Just hot Megan Fox. Just hot Megan Fox. No, like, I think that you have to wear, like, the, the zip-up hoodie and, like, the whole lighter situation. And, like That's cute. I feel like yeah. that's gonna come up. Um, I was gonna say Joe Goldberg for, like, lazy boyfriends. Mm. They're gonna just be like, I'm gonna be the guy from you. Just wear a baseball cap and a fucking sweater. That's a good one. I didn't think about that one. That when season gonna... three came out, you know, like, hmm, people are feeling it. I haven't watched any of it. <laughs> Stone season two. Like, spoiler, they all die. Imagine. I'm not at the end yet, so maybe they do. I'm, I'm out here actually spoiling it. <laughs> I had so many, and now just... Yeah, you had a lot. You said, like, I have a ton. Who else is, like, popping off right now? I feel like Michael Myers is gonna come back. It does every fucking year. Joe Biden? Like, do you think people are gonna be Joe Biden? Remember when people were Trump that one year? I feel like he's not. He was, like, iconic. He's not doing... That's iconic. a thing. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like Trump just had, like, a... I'm not a Trump stan, y'all. I'm just saying... (laughs) He had a moment. Like, he is easy to, to like... Make fun of. He's a fucking costume already. You know what? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The COVID vaccine or something? Something COVID-related? I don't know, right? Yeah. Like, someone's a vaccine and someone's, like, An anti-vaxxer or something? Oh, okay. (laughs) 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 That's hilarious. Karen! They'll be Karen costumes. Karen and Kevin. Kevin's? Is that what it is? The other one's Kevin? Yeah. The male's a Kevin. Hmm, interesting. Like so I think Cruella DeVille is probably going to be one. All the sexy Cruella DeVilles are going to come out. I feel like someone, someone's going to really come in with some nostalgia vibes. Like, I mean, every year they do. Someone should be Brandy and Mr. Mr. Whiskers. That's a good one. That would make me so happy. I don't know how to do that, but that's... I feel like I'd have to be a blonde person to be Brandy. She's blonde? She's a bunny that's, like, light, right? She's not. She's a dog. Whiskers is a I'm bunny. dead. Do well, she's going to be Space Jam, like, fucking... <laughs> Christian wanted to be, um, what's her name? <laughs> the bunny? Space Jam? Lola? Lola and Bugs. And I was like, everyone does that. Yeah. Have you not been on Pinterest? <laughs> <laughs> like, I gave him so much attitude and he really thought he, like, it was a novel idea. Like, he just Aww. thought of it. He didn't look at anything up. And he was like, oh, I didn't know everyone did that already. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm like, you were in a fraternity. Don't, yeah. You can't tell me you people don't dress me up like that. that. It's such a, like, a, before the movie fucking came out, everyone was doing it. Yeah. He also wants to be Max and the other girl from the Goofy movie. What's her name? The redhead? Mm. Mm. Mac, Roxanne? Max and Roxanne. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one year I was Audrey, Aubrey Hepburn. Oh, Audrey. Audrey Hepburn. What did I say? Aubrey? <laughs> Aubrey. I, all of a sudden, like, Drake came to my head. <laughs> I think that's why I said that. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah, I was like... But not... Like, I just had, like, a trench coat and a black dress, and I, like, made the mask. And pearls, right? And pearls. Okay, I made I the like, mask. Come on. The mask? Yeah. Oh, like a... What do you mean a mask? Because you know how they, like, stole masks from the... the Look, I've the never tree. seen the movie. I hate this. Anyway. <laughs> That's a cute one if y'all want to do that, if you just, like, have shit in your closet. Those are our predictions. I don't know if I can think of anything else. And that's not to say you shouldn't be them if you've already got those costumes. No, it's obviously, like, on... On, on trend. On, on point. trend. On point. Like, that's... The epitome of this year. Slay it. Like Kill it. it. It feels like it's still 2020. <laughs> yeah, dude. I it's don't... The not... 21 is not in, like, my... So moving on to what the heck we do to feel spooky, because it's spooky season, you gotta get the Getting vibes, vibes. Right. Yeah. Um, number one, light candles. Right? I mean, I do that all get year Get a warm long. smelling one, too. Like, something that feels like a baked good. I'm really about the Trader Joe's ones. This one's a little more, like, just fall overall. It's honey crisp apple. But it's so I never good. used to like apple scented ones, mm. but this one's pretty good. This one's it just smells like an apple. It's because usually it's like apple cinnamon, and I uh, can't fucking stand that. It's anyway. like t- it's too hardcore. 
Anyways. Candles. Yes, candles. Um, um, something that's, like, year-round for us is fucking, like, watching. Like, movie, like a movie to... Um, no, I was gonna say, like, crime. Oh. <gasps> true crime shit. Oh, my God. It's, like, maybe that's too real spooky, and you're looking for a little more, like, fake spooky. I love... But, I love it. Yeah. Something that, yeah, okay, so we do do that all year, but, like, I guess specific to this time, I'll try and do more, like show I mean which they're always coming out on Netflix but like a show that's like new or a documentary of something that like happened something new yeah. or Disney movies like Hocus Pocus yeah which is that Disney it is right yeah it's Disney. Mm, um yeah yeah it is it's or, just on ABC for whatever reason anyway or Freeform um Hocus Pocus Nightmare for Christmas The Corpse Bride Carline I haven't watched any of these, and we're two weeks away from Halloween. I need to get it together. Same. I need to get in the in the spirit. Halloween Town, Casper. <gasps> I need to watch all the Halloween Town movies. What, oh, what's Don't Look Under the Bed? That's a good that one. one. Actually, terrified that me as a scary kid. As a kid. A sweet life of Zach and Cody, the spooky episode, the hotel haunted hotel room. Um, do you remember that there's like a Goosebump series? It's I think it's back on. There's a Goosebump series. Yeah. Like, they're acting, or is it a cartoon? No, it's acting, I think. Oh, I want to watch that. But I don't remember what, like, um, streaming service has it. I think it's... I don't Paramount? know. Maybe? Because I don't have Maybe Paramount. Paramount. I haven't seen anything. I don't have Paramount anymore. Oh. I don't know. It's on one of the things. Just look it up. Yeah, I was telling you about how we used to listen to Goosebumps. Oh, that shit was so good. Yeah. I had a lot of the books, too. I feel like we didn't even, like... Okay, so we did it in TLC... After school daycare when I was in elementary school. I feel like we didn't do it, like, listen to it during spooky season. Maybe we like, did. like, all year. <laughs> like, maybe. But we would literally close half the library, turn off all the lights on the one half of it, put on headphones, sit around a table, and we'd listen to the scary story. But the shit was scary. Yeah. Highly recommend if you want to spook your kids out. The shit was good. <laughs> um, more obvious activities are, like, going to, like, haunted... Not places, but like haunted. <laughs> I mean, or like sure, sure. If you want to do that, Braver, I um, know. I was gonna say like more like the haunted hayride. Is that haunted right? hayride? The horror nights, like theme parks that like do the vibe. You can do that. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. Pumpkin carving. Ooh. Painting yeah. fun themed things like a pumpkin or a ghost. Those are all a vibe. Going off the true crime. Love me a good. A conspiracy video, which <laughs> we used to in college together love watching the Shane Dawson conspiracy videos. And if you're an avid conspiracy YouTube watcher, then you know what has happened with that situation. Yeah. I saw him the down and down. <laughs> not, down, down. Not the up and up, the down um, and down. Yeah. But like that, sh- that was our shit. Like, there's also other like YouTubers. Yeah, that... we love Bailey Sari. She's not really conspiracy. No. Is true crime. She's true crime. There's also what's that Bella? girl's name? Bella. Fury. Bella. She's good too. I was gonna say that girl who is obsessed with Amy Winehouse. What's her name? The girl is obsessed with Amy Winehouse. I don't watch her. She's true crime. She's true crime and conspiracy. She did a lot of like the Mandela effects. Do you remember? Her? Mm-hmm. Let me look her up real quick. Well, if you find it, we'll put the link. Yeah. I think that's it for this segment. Yes. The spooky vibes. So, in glowing hour, we're going to tell you some of our very own spooky stories and spooky things that have happened to us. So, if you want to get a little irked, a little spooked. Well, yeah. Sit in the dark. Light candle. Keep watching. Or <laughs> listening. Or whatever the hell you're doing or right now. I'll leave up, please. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Okay, Shh, welcome back. Today for Glowing Hour, we have, if you're watching, very spooky looking drinks. They look like, I don't know, slime, straight up like slime acid. poison. It's like battery acid blood. And blood, um, which is chamoy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's delicious. That's what we're drinking today. It's a Midori margarita. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so sorry if you can hear us drinking out of these cups, but I think this is like one of the... 
We're thirsty, girl. <laughs> I don't to tell you. We're just thirsty. So, yeah, we're gonna tell some spooky stories. wonder if we should put, like, some background music, set the, set the mood. All right. Na-na-na. Cue, cue the music. <laughs> it should be happening, though. I guess I can go first. Yeah, you go first. Mine's not really a, like, paranormal story. Maybe. I'm not sure. That's the thing. So, basically, let me set the stage for you. It was my 10th birthday. I had all my friends over. It was a sleepover. And we decided we wanted to teepee some houses. My house was asleep. My parents are in the upstairs room right above our like den where everyone's sleeping. And my sister was home, I guess, and she was asleep and her room is like complete opposite side of the house upstairs. So we were like, we got this. And I'm pretty sure this was before I had an alarm system, you know? Mm-hmm. So it was like, Easier just to open, out. Yeah, open the sliders, yeah. boom. So we decided we're gonna go out and TP. So we, I think we even like set up like fake bodies sleeping on the floor. Like we did the whole thing. And we sneak out and we're all just already freaking out. Like we're all just spooked because it's like fade and we're like 10, it's like dark outside. And I live like on a street where in front of my house, there's not houses. It's like people's backyards and a hill. So like there's no one directly across from me. So we walked on that side. Every time there was like a dog who like saw us and barked, like it was just like, <gasps> like oh, whatever we get caught. Yeah. We couldn't decide where to teepee, which we honestly should have gone down instead of across, but whatever. <laughs> just me criticizing us. So we're walking. And as we walk past like two houses down, there's some guy in like a black jacket standing at the trunk of his car and he looks like he's like grabbing stuff or like it could have been a girl too i have no idea but they're just standing at the trunk and we were like freaking out like seeing people i don't even know what time it was maybe it was only like 11 maybe it was 1 a.m i don't know we were like freaked out by him we were like whatever let's just keep going i think like two more houses down we looked inside this person's like window and it looked like their kitchen was on the second floor which is like really weird so weird it looked like a kitchen who knows what we actually saw but this person was just standing there like they're about to open the fridge vibes but like they never opened it like they just stood there staring in front of a like a door a fridge something and the windows like right there so we could see them and they just didn't move like ever and so we were okay, like, okay, two creepy things happening at once. I don't like that. I'm not sure if we all just collectively chickened out or we decided to, like, go, like, back to my house and do a different route. But we, I think, end up running back into that guy in the black jacket. Oh no. Uh-huh. He's in a different spot. Now he's, like, in front of us. And we started walking back to my house, and like everyone's just collectively, like every time they turn around, they get more freaked out. How many are there of you guys? Probably like six or seven of us. Okay, it's really hard to snatch you all. Just gotta say. The slowest is dead, bitch. (laughs) Better run. (laughs) That's basically what it was. And yeah, there's no way we would have all been snatched, but this person or thing never really got a look at it. I just kept seeing it every time we turned around. And then somebody just went, run. So we started running back to my house. We're freaking the fuck out. He's chasing us. Like the figure, the man, chasing us. What? Yes. We were freaking the fuck out. I was like, what the fuck is going on? It felt like I was gonna die, like for real. Yeah. And like, to my own horn or anything, but I did turn around to make sure my friends were okay. (laughs) Like, I am a good person. I made sure they all made it through the gate. So, I want to say, like, everyone... You saw it, it or him chasing you guys? Yeah. Like, did it run it towards us? Did it run normal? Ew, I don't know. Yeah? Like a human. Okay. Like, it wasn't like... <laughs> Ooh. Like, it wasn't like... <laughs> galloping. Like galloping and On shit. all fours or anything. <laughs> it was on two well, legs. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, I'm pretty sure. Um... So I have like the front door and then a gate that we went through, which thank God I didn't have that locked or an alarm at that time because it would have been fucked. (laughs) So we go through the gate, um, everyone makes it through, we close it, and then he just stops right in front of like my driveway and looks at us through the gate and I was like, fuck this! We ran down the stairs back into the house and we're all like, oh my God, and I'm like, everyone's here, right? Like we're all here. And I called my sister 
I was like, come downstairs. I swear to God, someone's trying to kill us. And I'm scared he's gonna like come down to the slider. Cause like, it, nothing was locked. Yeah. Like he easily could have just followed us in. She was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> She's half asleep. I was like, we just tried to go TP houses and this guy chased us back to the house. And she was like, you guys are dumb. Like, I that's all she can say. It's not yeah. like, are you okay? But are you, these are fucking dumb. She was like 17 or something at the time. So she was just like, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah. And then my cat like kept staring out the window. Like sitting on That's the ledge, scary. just like. I was like, I don't know what you're looking at, and I don't appreciate it. And that is the end of one of my spooky stories. So basically, don't know if this guy was trying to like give us a good spook. I was gonna say, because he sees it's, ten fucking yeah, six, it's ten like these motherfucking little girls should just go back home. It's not safe. I'm gonna chase them, mm -hmm. which I sir. Not I wouldn't okay. chase. Them. I would just be like, hey, go home. Yeah, not for you. Leave. Um, but, I don't know, that gives me, like, skinwalker vibes. Uh-huh. Which, uh, you live in the hills. It, uh, is very possible. I just, it was, like, it was just all these things, kept, like, colliding. Like, the weird guy in the window. Yeah. It was just, like, creepy time at night, and, like, you guys should, probably shouldn't have been out or awake. Mm -hmm. And did I sneak out more after that? Yes, I did. Yeah, definitely. I definitely did until I was about, mm, 17. I'm gonna be eating half of this cup. Not the actual cup. <laughs> <laughs> the chamoy on the cup. <laughs> That's fucking scary. Yeah. My parents, after I told them, were like, I'm sorry? I'm um, what? And I told them like a month ago, not like when it happened. <laughs> they were like, That's why didn't you then. ever say anything? So, because then you'd never let me out again. I could yeah, sleep true. down there. So, why would I tell you? <laughs> why am I gonna tell you? <laughs> Don't. Um, my spooky story, I think you've heard but I will repeat it. I don't think so. <laughs> my parents' house, from what I think, is haunted. Oh. I feel like I carry a certain vibe, a certain fucking energy where spirits or shit like that just likes to fuck with me or mm -hmm. likes to um, know that it, let me know that it's there. Right. And you know what, like growing up, I've had weird shit happen to me in that house where like, I either like see something running like past me Ew. or like I just feel something watching me but like nothing crazy had happened at that point. There was a couple times where like I heard certain drawers opening and closing and I was like you know I just fucking ignore it or like I would like fucking stop in my tracks and be like I just fucking heard that mm -hmm. but nothing crazy. Um, I think like I have to like preface the fact that like I once was like half asleep in my parents room that used to be my brother's room something fully like opened the door walked in what and then like per like opened the door and then closed it shut. your eyes were closed or you were looking at them no um they were like half open I thought it was my dad they closed it closed the door behind them or actually no sorry they opened the drawer and then walked out of the room okay but then I was like, because like, I'm very, um, I was gonna say I'm a lightweight, <laughs> but that too. <laughs> I'm a, I, I'm a light sleeper. Uh -huh. And so like noises and things like that will wake me up. But like, obviously I didn't feel completely like terrified when I thought that is my dad, like just walking in the room, yeah. grabbing something Your from his room. Your brain was like plausible. Yeah, plausible. So he walks out and then I'm just, sit I'm just like laying there because I'm like, he woke me up, but I can go back to sleep. So I'm like, my eyes are like half opened. Or they're like, they're just chilling, you know, I'm like trying to fall back asleep. <laughs> and all of a sudden I hear the drawer like fully like, oof. Like came out? Out and then it fucking closes shut. And there was no one at this point because that person or thing had already walked out. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. And so this is not even the scary story yet. I'm just prefacing oh the vibes. Oh my God. Um, so I like shoot my fucking eyes open, but I don't move. And I'm like. <laughs> yep that just happened and there's no one fucking in here so then when i like finally get the courage to stand up i like get up and i open the door my dad's like not even in the living room okay and then like i'm trying to look for him and then when i find him i was like did you just go in the room he was like no and i was like bro he was like i actually just came home because he had like run an errand so like he had just come home from something it was the middle of the day middle of the day Middle of the napping day. I used to take naps. Was it dark? No. In the room? No. It was light as fuck. What? I just, I just, like, when I lived at home, I had a very, like, specific, like, routine of, like, 
it was just like being in my parents' bed just was very comforting. So like that's where I would take a nap. And they also had like the best TV in all the rooms, you know. So like I would usually like turn on a show, but this time I didn't. I just like napped. I just fell asleep. So I don't know. Anyway, that is like a, the preface of the vibes of okay, the house. Okay, so her house is haunted. You get it. <laughs> yeah. So now that was probably in high school, mm-hmm. and then now I'm in, in this new story, I'm in college. I'm usually working very late because I'm a fucking procrastinator and like I was probably working on homework at like midnight. My door was like cracked open. I used to have to hold it with a rock because it would like slide, it would shut basically. And I just wanted it open. I don't know why, like the hallway was dark. No one was awake. I just, why the fuck did I have it open? It's not very like me to have it open. I'm a person who like closes my doors and locks them. But anyway, I had it open for some fucking reason. Scary, okay. And I'm just sitting there doing my homework, just fucking minding my business. And I like all of a sudden hear like someone moving in the kitchen, what sounds like the kitchen. Cause like our house is pretty small. Like you can hear things from like not too far away. Mm-hmm. And um, also like, but it's like my room's like at the end of the, the hallway, but you like walk down the hall and then it's like the living room and the kitchen. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, did my mom get up? Like, who's like, they what were like, sound they like they're doing? They, it sounds like they're opening. They're first just like walking around, but I already knew everybody was asleep. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just like my brother. I didn't hear the door open. Maybe he's hanging out or my mom. Sometimes she gets up in the middle of the night and like has a glass of water in the fucking dark, like a weird ass <laughs> because she's just so sleepy that she's just like getting up and like getting water. And she's like brave as fuck. Like she doesn't need the she's lights on. She's brave as fuck. But, Considering your house is haunted, she's brave as fuck. Yeah, I mean, nothing ever fucking comes to her, though, which is weird. But, so, I think it's just somebody, whatever. And then all of a sudden, it's just, like, baking. Just, like, the, just, like, not normal noises. It's not, like, anything drastic, but I'm just, like, that doesn't sound like... What do you mean some, not normal? It just doesn't sound like normal activity of, like, somebody who knows the house well. You know what I mean? Like, they're opening shit up. Like, they're opening a bunch of, like, cabinets up and, like, trying to figure out, like, where shit is. Mm-hmm. Like you they're know? Not, they're not like, I'm getting bread. I know where the bread is. I know is. where the bread is. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just like, I think there's someone in the house. In my head, I'm like, someone's in the fucking Girl, house. Girl, and what did you do? I'm just frozen. And then all of a sudden, I hear, like, crunching. Like, someone's, like, eating something. And it sounds like they're eating cereal or, like, the chips. best way I could describe it is, like, chips or like, you know when a dog like tubes their kibble and you can hear like the crunching? Yeah, it sounds like that and it's fucking loud. It's really loud. Like to the point where I can hear it from my room. Huh. And I'm just like, at this point, I fucking get so scared. I get up, I like go closer to like the, the hallway, which that's not very like, I don't usually like go towards the noise. Like, yeah, but I was just like, I was wondering like, maybe it's just really my mom eating fucking cereal in the dark, like a creep or something weird, like whatever. So I'm like walking towards the kitchen. It's still really loud, but I feel like now they can hear me. No. So like they stop. And when I hear them stop, they stop. Yeah. They stop (gasps) chewing. I run to my room, close the door and I'm just sitting there in silence and I'm like breathing heavy. And I can almost like just feel presence just like walking. I have tears. Ew. (laughs) I feel this like presence like walking through the halls. Like you can't hear footsteps like really, but you can just like feel, you feel the energy. You feel the energy. And it just like sits at the front of my door. Ew. And I'm just sitting there quietly and I'm texting my mom and I'm like, cause my mom usually is awake. Okay. And I was like, Hey, is that you? Like, are you scared? Like, were you in the kitchen right now? And she just responds and goes, no and i'm like you so you that? didn't get up and i was like okay can you come here because i'm terrified <laughs> you made and, your book <laughs> yeah. and she just like at this point like when i'm texting her i don't i don't pay attention to the door anymore because i'm just so scared i need help and like she takes a while and like i don't necessarily feel it there anymore like i feel like it walked away or something but she comes in the room and she's like what's wrong and i, I told her what happened and she's like I've been awake this whole time, but I did not hear anything. And I'm like, you're oblivious. <laughs> like, so, but you ain't listening. But that that was really scary. Um, and that's it. That, and that's that. Did you go to the kitchen? Was there anything? In the um, I think me, me, we both walked there together and see to see like what like if there was like actual like physical shit wrong. Nothing happened. There's nothing different. 
You know what's so, freaky though? My 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 dad did this weird thing that day where like he doesn't usually do it, but like he like meal prepped his cereal for the morning. That which, is like, so. It sounds you. so weird, but like he just like had already poured his cereal in the bowl and just like was ready in the morning. Just pop some. He said those three steps that think... it takes to pour my cereal. I yeah. fucking can't do it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he couldn't, <laughs> or maybe he was just like I don't really want to be too. But loud. he said I did that. He said I, I saw him do bowl. it. Hmm. So he left it out. And this I'm like, was weird. this ghost fucking chewing cereal? You know, like imaginary like, Dad, cereal. Count the cereal. Count the cereal. How many how many pieces did they eat? <gasps> but yeah, that was creepy as fuck. Alright. There's plausible reasons here that aren't actually plausible. Paranormal reasons. Either like this is like you just like connecting with someone who's real life. Like, past life in the house. I said to me, yeah. And, like, that's just something they did. Like, they woke up in the middle of the night, had some snacks, was looking around for something. Maybe. They were really high. I don't Maybe know. I'm a scary ghost in their parallel universe. Or, yeah. You know? Or it's a parallel universe. And they actually live there currently. I and you just connected to that universe worlds, for too long. Either way, it's fucking freaky. Mmm. Spooky. Yeah. Okay, not to freak you out. Do you feel a presence? Yeah, not right now. Ah! Don't! But, oh my God. I'm like, we're home alone. <laughs> anyway. Bitch. But, um, when I went to the bath, because you know how you went down here. Right now? Just let me, let me talk. Oh my God. You, you went to the bathroom down here? Yes. I was like, oh, I have to pee, so I went to your room. Yes. And yes, I was thinking about your spooky what story. you told me. And also all of the spooky stories we're about to say. Wait, what that I told you? That, like, someone, you heard knocking on the other side of the door. Oh. Like, your sister's room, or your old sister's, your sister's old But room. it was the printer. It was a printer after all? Yeah. Anyway. Pretty sure. Um, I straight up heard, like, someone say something to me. Oh, stop it! Say through, what? Through, like, that side of the door. And, and what'd I, they say? I didn't, I didn't, I was like, I'm, I can't hear you, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to tell me, because I can't, I'm not going to listen right now. But it freaks me the fuck out, I gotta say. For a second. I was like, that's why I turned the video on about the acid survivors. <laughs> I was like, what's real life scary? Let's turn that on. Oh my god. I don't appreciate you ghosts. Please don't hurt me, but I don't appreciate you scaring people. Yeah, dude. Fuck off. I'm here alone a lot, okay? <laughs> this is a place to not be scared. It's my home. What? Yeah. Um. She better have been whispering Sam's the best roommate ever. He's the best roommate. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. She decorates really cute for me. <laughs> god. Nah, dude, I'll hear shit. Like, this morning, I heard knocking on the front door. No one was there. Nope. Yeah. And... I think we're, like, bound to have something something scary happen to us when we're both here. At least we'll be shared. I don't like doing it alone. And I went back to bed. My crazy ass. I said, whatever. I'm going back to bed. Good night. Dude. Yeah, my other spooky stories, it's not really... It's not really spooky. It's just I did spooky shit. That was dumb. Oh, um, I need to hear this because I don't remember the story. It probably opened up why there's ghosts in my Stop. house. Stop. Okay, go on. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Okay, go on. Excuse me. Anyway. So, at my friend's house, <laughs> um, her mother had a Ouija board. Why? I couldn't tell you why. She was terrible. No offense to the lady and the daughter, but the daughter was a bitch to me at the end of the day, so. <laughs> Anyways, we're at her house. She literally has, like, a whole closet of games, like, board games, card games, whatever. Fun. Yeah, super fun. Of course, we picked the Ouija game. <laughs> <laughs> we picked the Ouija board game, probably because we'd already played all the other ones earlier in the day or something. And it was only, I think, four of us. It was, yeah, me, my two best, three best friends? Other three best friends, and then her little sister, the girl who lived there. Is this friends you don't have anymore? Yeah, I'm not okay. friends with them. That's why I'm there. No, that's why I'm not gonna say the name, because it's all good. Anyways, so we're playing the game in the dark. I'm shit bricks. Like, I'm scared, as you should be. You should not be playing that game. It was before, like, the movies came out and, like, shit was, ha had been said about it, you know what I mean? You, like, never heard you should never play with the Ouija word. No. Or at that point. No, because. I, I didn't have one. My mom didn't care to have one, so she probably thought, who the fuck is gonna have a Ouija board? Yeah. Like, who the- why would you why have you one? That? Yeah. Why do you have one? 
Anyways. Um, so we're playing on the bed, like a t fucking twin bed probably. <laughs> we're like on the bed, all of our fingers are on it. I smartly am up against a wall. I was like, I'm not having no free back to any of this bitches. I pick, <laughs> my back is protected by this wall. <laughs> I swear to God. You go Smart. Through, you go through the wall. It just takes you. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Like you insidious. The wrong spot. <laughs> insidious with the holes in the wall. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that didn't happen. <laughs> um, so we're playing. I don't even, I think it was just like, is there a ghost present? <laughs> like, make yourself known, yes, no, whatever. Who asked the questions, that bitch? I for sure wasn't the one asking the damn <laughs> questions. I might have said, like, does my crush like me? Like, it's something stupid. Me? I don't know. Yeah. Right? Um. Anyways. It's moving, but I'm like, I know it's one of y'all bitches. I said, I'm watching you. Don't and, put force in it. <laughs> and then, and then we like all let go at once, and someone was pushing him. Like, oh my god, you bitch! So I don't think anyone ever communicated with us in the game, at least not willingly. They might have been there, but they were like, look at these bitches. I ain't gonna talk to they them. Ain't gonna talk to them. Like, yeah. stupid. <laughs> fucking stupid asses. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, that was that. But I also remember being really traumatized because I went to Not Scary Car with them and then we spent the night and I slept like alone on the floor and I was mortified, like I was scared. Why did you put you on the floor by yourself? It was a twin bed in the room. We were probably all on the floor by ourselves. Oh, okay. Yeah, like it wasn't just me. I was like, bitches. I think, but like we could have slept closer together. <laughs> we didn't have to sleep like in um, different corners. <laughs> Anyways, I already have like, you know, traumatic memories there. Um, so yeah, I was mortified. And then we thought, let's take it up a notch. Sleep over at my house next. We're gonna speak to candles. <laughs> speak to candles, girly, okay. It was my, she's like, dark. Like, she's with that friend. And I'm like, I am in touch. She's like, you don't get it. I'm in touch with she, the yeah. dark side. She was like a you don't get it kind of friend. Like, yeah, I'm pretty cool. And I was like, fuck, I'm gonna take her word for it. She's pretty cool. She's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> so... And dead. So she was like, do you have candles? I was like, yeah, I got candles. Who doesn't? <laughs> like, yeah, I got candles. What do you mean? Yeah, what kind? I got this, you. Is, this isn't even spooky. This is just fucking ridiculous. Y'all tried to make it spooky and it just... Anyway. So we sat on the floor. Um, I think it was one candle. It might have been more. Maybe three. I don't know. We lit the candles and we like all held hands or some shit. Some seance vibes. And the girl who was like, I'm pretty cool. She was like, if there's anybody present, like, we're opening the portal for you. And I was like, what portal, bitch? <laughs> I said, nobody mentioned this to me when we turned on the candles. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't know that's what I was providing the candle for. <laughs> I probably just went, what the fuck is going on? She's like, communicate to us through the candles. Like, one flickers, yes. <laughs> Two flickers are no. And... And yeah, after like a couple questions, I was like, this is stupid. Can we not? No. <laughs> like a dead ass. Blown it out. I was like, nah. I'm over it. And like, I thought it was gonna be like a very craft moment. We even tried to do light as a feather after. <laughs> Stiff as a board. never done that, but it doesn't work. Doesn't I mean, work. at least not with our energies at 10 years old. <laughs> Back to our energy. But we were just like, light as a feather, stiff as a board. <laughs> 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 We picked the smallest bitch too, and she did not float. So the bitch didn't float. No, there's too many non-believers in the room, probably. So <laughs> well, that story wasn't that spooky, but I mean, maybe we let somebody in. They seem to be nice. They I haven't mean, killed me. A lot of people have like spirits follow them. I don't like that idea. Can you protect me, please? I think mean, you gotta sage your room and like your house, honestly. Can you do it for me? <laughs> sure. I'll come in that. next time. I don't know how to do that. Um, although I gotta say, I, I feel like a lot of um native people believe that sage um doesn't necessarily cleanse. I mean it does cleanse, but I think a lot of them believe or say that like when you sage your house or sage yourself, like, it's, like, you're inviting a certain type of energy or, sp like, you're inviting more spirits in, but, like, the good kind. But, like, you know, something can always disguise itself is the vibe. But I don't know if I'd necessarily believe that. I'm scared. But there's, there's nothing I can do. There's other things like Palo Santo and, um, what's that? Cedarwood. 
Mm. Oh, instead of sage. Instead of sage. Mm. It does the same thing, I think, and, like, you can... Correct me mm. if I'm wrong, if you guys know, but... Yeah, I think cleansing your your house is in, in need. I'm just gonna, like, burn pictures of me and my ex. <laughs> Uh, the bad yeah. spirits, the bad <laughs> energy, <laughs> bad juju's out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's <laughs> fucking scary, though. I don't, I don't like anything. I've about had a this. lot of people tell me that they've played with Ouija boards and bad shits happened to them. You know, it could, could all, bad it, could all it could all just be like exaggerated truth or whatever. But, but did they, did they experience someone speaking back to them in their game? Mm-hmm. Okay, I didn't see them specifically safe. one of my exes said that he went to, like, a certain spot of town that felt, like, really ominous. Is that the word? Ominous? Ominous, yeah. Um, him and his friends went. They are younger. Like, they were, they were, like, in high school. And they brought up the Ouija board. <laughs> like, who the fuck is buying Ouija boards? Like, so why are those sold? Anyway. But they brought up the Ouija board, and, um, they were asking it things, and, like, just all the street lights went out. All right, that's... And from then on, he feels like things have had been following him, and that's why he has had bad, like, fortune and, like, bad juju in his life. And I gotta agree, he's had it all coming for him. Um, but I think when you fuck with a certain type of energy, like... You're just inviting just it. Just inviting it. I didn't invite this motherfucker to come into my house and tell me that it's, a, like, appearing, but uh, it was there. Yeah, I don't know. I think some things are, are like, called upon, and some things are just, like, you have a very openness that you, like... Like, the ghost whisper. Did you watch that show? Mm-hmm. Oh, I loved that show. What's her name? Jen... Jennifer Love Hewitt. Hewitt. Wow, I love, love her. Love the tongue. <laughs> love her name. Yeah. What do you think? You got another scary story? You have to. I mean, basically, I feel like it's the same fucking ghost that I'm gonna talk about, but, like... Just name her, or him. Honestly, maybe don't. Listen, me, maybe don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't. <laughs> but listen, I remember as a kid, my mom still remembers us too. That like, I don't, I don't remember. Like, I don't me, I don't. How do I say this? I don't remember me physically like making this story up. But like, well, you don't remember being like, I'm gonna make this up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my mom says that when I was little, or like younger, mm -hmm. I would tell her about a woman or like a little girl who lived in my closet. <laughs> Bitch, I'm so glad I never slept at your house because that's Wait, on all, another all level. I'm like really nervous to talk about it. I feel like it's okay. Weird. Maybe don't then, but don't no, if you don't want to. Really. She don't bring uh, her to my house. I'm not bringing her. She doesn't live in my house right now either. Period. She doesn't. She's not allowed. <laughs> Which house? Your house or your mom's house? Any of house? them. She needs to get out. But um, I would talk about that for some reason, and she looked a certain way, and I'm not going to describe her because it freaks me out. But, um, I don't- Wait, one question. Was she young or old? Young. I don't remember her being, like, a threat to me, though. But well, maybe she's the one eating my cereal. <laughs> it sounds like a thing to do. I mean, maybe she's like, my mom used to put the bread over here. Where the fuck Where the is the fuck bread? Where the it out? <laughs> yeah, she's or- like, She's like, I can't find the cereal. Or she's your imaginary friend, and that was See, her saying goodbye to you. Ugh. Eating cereal. <laughs> But, uh, I think I'm, like, I think I used to tell my mom that she was my friend, and my mom's like, it's imaginary, but I'm like, there's something fucking going but on But kids here. also just, like, can feel, like, sense Yeah, so I'm like, more. I don't know, and I, weird. Yeah, not sure if she's really fake, guys. But, um, there's other, th like, small things that have happened that, like, now my mom, so, like, sometimes when my mom can't sleep in the room because my dad's snoring or something, mm -hmm. she'll sleep on the couch, and she'll just feel, like, she'll wake up all of a sudden and feel like something's staring at her, and, like, I'm like... Yeah, that's... Do they need to move? <laughs> they, they do need to move. But Less Logan and I lived with my parents um, during quarantine, like the beginning stages of quarantine after we moved from Seattle. And I remember one time I don't... I hadn't told her about the story yet of like the... Good, I stuff. wouldn't have liked that. But, listen to this. We were in the bathroom. I had peed. She was brushing her teeth and getting ready for bed or something. And like I had left to go get water. I felt off. <laughs> I left to go get water and um, the hallway was dark, but there was like, I basically like walked in the dark to the the kitchen, mm -hmm. got water, and then I was coming back. I put it in oh, the so room. Oh, so you walked into the dark kitchen to get water. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Not very like me. Lazy. Again, just lazy. When things that I don't do normally, uh, some shit comes up. 
But whatever, I dropped the water off at the room that we are living in. <laughs> the waiter, I dropped the water off. And I go back in the room, in the bathroom, and Logan's like freaking out. She's like, she's like, why did you leave me in there by myself? Blah blah blah. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, I literally just felt somebody like zoom past behind me, like my hair, like even in went, the bathroom. Yeah, her hair went like. Like if like a fan had hit her hair from the side. Like you know when you can yeah. feel something like run past you? It was in the bathroom, so I'm like, where the fuck are you running, ghost? You're running into inside the bathroom. Out of the shower, like scared. Yeah. Oh, She's like, that. I don't know, I just froze and she was really, really scared. And then I was like, I don't need to freak you out. You but, told like, her the story then and there. You're I had crazy. to, bro. She You're then crazy. she was just like really tripped out. So things happen in that house. <laughs> But, like, they seem fairly normal. Like, it's not like it was, like, I felt... Look at this chair. It's blue, guys. Uh, we were the gag is up. We were trying to hide the blueness. Only because it doesn't match the tanness. Not because we don't like the blue in general. Sam loves blue. I do love blue. I can't say it for myself, but... Yeah, like, yeah. it's not like you felt, like, blood fucking pouring no, from something. No, nothing that's like that. Nothing but... scary. It was, like, normal activities. Like, going through the kitchen. Yeah. Eating. I mean, also, it's not like paranormal activity where, like, all the doors are, like, pop, 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 pop. It was just, like, somebody's looking for something, and they don't know where it is. Yeah. Um, that's, like, the ghost stories. <laughs> But, um... Yeah, I don't think I have anything else. Into some more, like, spooky things. Um... Like, topics? And, like, in the topics of, like, parallel universes and stuff. Oh sleep paralysis. Oh, right. Have you ever had one? <gasps> no. I've had, like... <sighs> oh, wait. No. Before we go into that, another spooky thing that happened to me in that house a lot. <sighs> There's, like, a period of, like... I want to say, like, a year to, like, six months. Mm-hmm. Where, um, I would wake up, and honestly, that's really scary. Oh uh, my god, you're really scary. Sorry. It was after that whole situation happened to me, uh-huh. there was a period of time where I would literally wake up. This is college, then, if it happened after. Yeah. I would wake up, um, with my covers fully, like, just folded over the bed. I'm sorry. Like, it's not like I scooted them off and like it was like oh, And I'm you just cold. went back to bed? Girl, what am I supposed to do? Anyway. File a complaint would... with the paranormal. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just taking the my covers fuck. off. But I would like wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, I'm fucking cold. There's nothing on me. And I would wake up and like my covers would perfectly folded like over the bed. Like it was not my feet. Do you ever do that? Why would I do that? Maybe in your sleep, like, you But how did fucking it. weird that I did that in my sleep if I did that. You're just a weird bitch. That's what I'm gonna say. I fucking I'm gonna sum so. it up to that because I can't live with a ghost doing that. I hope that's what it was. But yeah. in reality, it just felt too, like, weird. And, like, sometimes it would happen to me, like, multiple times a night. You're just a weird bitch. That's what I'm gonna sum it up to. I don't want it. The thing is, it's, like, almost, like, intentionally, like, so that I would know that it's obscure. You know what I mean? Cause like, if like some something took the covers off of me Stop. and like dropped them on the floor, that's one thing. And I'd be, I'd probably wake up and be like, oh, I just kicked them off. But it was perfectly like, you know what I mean? That happened to me a lot. But like that little girl wouldn't be doing none of that. No, I don't know. Unless no. she's from like the forties. I feel like there's there's like a reason why she came to me. If that's like real. Well, you don't think it was like her room? Maybe. Maybe somebody hurt her in that house. Why would yeah. you have to go there? That's oh, just a cool Oh, God! <laughs> <sighs> um, this reminds me of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, I recently saw that show and it really freaked me out. Yeah, I wonder why. Uh, uh, um, God. Yeah. It's a good one if you want to get spooked, by the way. Yeah, Haunting of Hill House. I haven't seen um, Bly, uh, Bly, Bly, Bly Manor. Bly Manor. Oh, okay. I like I the other one better, but it was good. Oh. But anyway, spooky things, guys. Using paralysis. Like paralysis. You... No, I've never. I've only had it. like one or two. I don't remember the second. Like I, I feel like I've had two stories, but one. I don't think like anything crazy happened besides like the the normal thing of like seeing someone in the corner or like the edge of your bed. Like, I feel like I woke up and I saw somebody in the corner of the room and they walked towards the like the edge of the bed and then I like probably woke up or something. But again, like, I feel like it was during that time where my shit was being folded. So I don't know. But 
You know, if you guys like suffer from. I'm glad I sleep peacefully. (laughs) Because what the fuck? If you guys like suffer from sleep paralysis, here's a spooky one for you. Why are you (laughs) giving it to them specifically, these poor souls? They're like, oh great. Oh great, here (laughs) I go. Maybe I'll dream of this tonight. Um, this is not my story, but my best friend, Jen, has a lot of sleep paralysis, and shout out Jen, she- So much respect for you, girly. (laughs) She listens to this podcast, and here's her her little shout out, but, um, (laughs) her story freaks me out. I think, like, a lot of, I think there's, like, parallel universe situation happening in sometimes sleep paralysis, especially Mm -hmm. with people who are a little bit, like, more frequent with them, but- she had an instance where she had a sleep paralysis that became like more reality. Let me explain. Yeah, so she um, used to sleep in a certain room in her house where her bed was facing the door and through the door was like a hallway that like led to the back door to the backyard mm-hmm. and the bathroom was like to the right. Um, the back door to the backyard had like a small little window or has a small little window, it's still there. Wait, the what to the backyard had a window? The, the wall? The back door. The door. Okay. Yeah. Had a small window. And in her sleep paralysis, she had woken up from, like, banging. banging. Like, there was, like, banging at the door. It was really, really, okay. like, loud. And she could see, like, in her sleep paralysis, she could not move. She can see that there's this man at the door. But she can see the door from her room? Yeah, because it was, like, cracked open. You can see, like, where she was sleeping from. She can see, like, straight shot to the back door. No. She could no. see that there's this Damn. man trying to get in and, like, just knocking really loud. Wait, pause. Sleep paralysis is when you see things and you can't move, but they're hallucinations, correct? Supposedly. Okay. Just Or, like, not hallucinations, but you're, like, in your dream state still. It's like you dream. You're like in between dream and reality. Mm, but I, a lot of people believe that you're like in between realms because like a lot of the time when you're dreaming, <sighs> you could just be going to a different universe or parallel like dimension. There's too many things we don't know about this world. I hate it. Totally. So this man's banging at the door. Okay. She's freaked the fuck out. Can't stop the banging. She's stuck in her sleep paralysis. And then, you know what, she wakes up from the sleep paralysis, that was a really scary time, whatever. I, I'm sure there was more to the story. Yeah. But she wakes up from her thing, and also it happens to her a lot when she's napping. Jen, stop taking naps. <laughs> yeah, the Lord but is saying, stop. But still, it still happens to her, and she doesn't even, like, physically live in that room anymore. But anyway, moving forward, <laughs> she wakes up, she's like, that was a scary dream, whatever. Mm-hmm. Moves on with her day. She has to run errands with her mom, and her mom has to go and, like, talk to somebody from, like, Bible study, Uh I think. And apparently, like, this man either was supposed to, like, teach her how to drive. Jen? Yeah. Or, like, he had some type of, like, just, like, connection to her mom that she, like, she had to take her mom to talk to him. Uh When she gets to this man, it's the man who was banging on the door. She's never met this man before. So you're just sitting there, like, when I was listening to her, I'm like, you fully, like, were able to tell the future, and I don't know why, but this man has, like, weird energy, you know? But, like, he was banging on her door. But he was banging on her door. So I don't know if it's, like, a foreshadow of, like, her knowing the future and, like, just, like, making it appear in her sleep paralysis or what. Or has he banged on their door before? Like, she's... He wasn't there that, that day, like... But, like, no, not there that day, but, like, maybe... It happened, like, because it's her mom's friend. Like, maybe he was... I don't even know if he knew where they lived, though. Like, Jen, I'm gonna need you to comment below. (laughs) Tell us what happened. Tell us a little more about this man. I don't even... Honestly, she forgets a lot of the sleep paralysis. Well, yeah, but it happens often. She, like, doesn't remember them, and sometimes she'll tell me them, and I'll, like, revert the story back to her, and I'm like, that really freaked me out when you told me. She's like, I don't remember that, but, like, crazy that you She said, whoa. (laughs) So, um... So that's how you guys cope. Got it. Anyway, if you have sleep paralysis, you might just be able to tell the future, or... I don't know, you're in between realms. There's a different realm, but I don't know. Anyway, in the season of spooky things, I hope you guys enjoyed this fucking episode. Yeah, comment your fucking scary stories below, or, like, comment them in our posts about this episode. Maybe we I really want to hear, it. or like DM us. I don't fucking know. Like, do we anything. can just like go live on Instagram and tell everyone scary stories. <gasps> we invite you up to tell your scary story. I'm down for that. 
If anybody has them, I mean, if you can top ours. <laughs> Just kidding. This is like it's the week of Halloween. Halloween. The week of Halloween. It's on Sunday. I really want to see all y'all's costumes. Please show me <gasps> them. I'm like obsessed. Yes. And then we never posted anything for ha- hags. Oh, yeah. But have maybe we summer. could do like a, have a great Halloween. <laughs> Haga. 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 <laughs> anyway, um, enjoy the rest of your week. Don't get too spooky. And please be safe. Yes. Bye. Bye.